Oh, I'm as starved as a dog. What's the problem, mate? Can I see your license, please? And Mr. Donatis, isn't it? Don Donatis. Sorry about the wobblies back there. The twins were playing up in the back seat, and you know how it is. This is Tracy. Hi. So you're the law around here, right? Eh? Yeah. It won't happen again, I promise. Uh, are you staying in Mount Thomas? At the mother in law's. Listen, uh, what's the tucker like at the pub? Ah, it's pretty good. Beautiful. Yeah. So is that it? Um, yeah. Okay, uh, if you could keep the speed down a bit, Mr. Nenny's. Thanks. Well, Wayne, I told him. Well, that was Big Don. Wayne, I cannot believe you trod the same turf as the enforcer, mate. Who? A big Don Donatis. Yeah, same club, same ground, not the same team. I am impressed. I'm really impressed, pal. Do you read about his hamstring? No. He's probably up here to rest it up, I'd say. It's got to be his last season for sure. From the district firearms officer. What's all the excitement out there? Oh, big Bill Buffett's in town. Who? Some legend with a hamstring. Ah, big Don Donatis. That's the one. Yeah, he's married to a local girl. Almost made her a bit of a legend around here for a while. I thought she'd be back sooner than this. Tracy, welcome back. Hi. Good to see nothing's changed. No, well, um, we like it like that. Oh, Chris, this is my husband, Don. Nice little establishment you've got here, Chris. <laughs> nice, quiet atmosphere. Yes, well, there must be something about you, Don. They're not normally this well-behaved. <laughs> it's like being married to God. <laughs> on a good day, he walks on water, too. Yes, uh, well, what do you have? Bourbon and Coke for Trace and beer for me. A light. A light, in case you spies everywhere. <laughs> Tracy? I thought it was you. Uh, Don, this is Andy. Andy Poulton, Mr. Donetis. Pleased to meet you. What's your claim to fame, son? You're an old boyfriend of hers or something? Not really. I think we had one date in high school, didn't we? You couldn't hold your green ginger wine, so I lost respect straight away and walked home. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Anyway, I just come over to say hello and... Could I have your autograph? It's for my son. Sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> Damien. He plays for the local under-12s. There you go. Thanks. One more thing, son. I saw you looking at her. You come near Tracy again, I'll belt you clean the next week. Got it? Uh, what's that? You're still young down to play the ball, not the man, okay? You two are back early? Yeah. Big Don's in town. Yeah, do you know I used to play with him, boss? I don't care if Don, Bradman, Elvis, Presley and the Pope are all in town and you used to play with a lot of them. You two are supposed to be out on patrol. Righto. What's that on your shirt? Pie? Just came back to get cleaned up. Doyle, don't forget your hat. I'm a district firearms officer about the annual requalification shoot. You'd be rostering yourself off again, boss? If I can't shoot by now, I'll never be able to. One of these days, a DFR will wake up to you. He's going to have to catch me first. He's managed to roster himself off for three years. I thought pistol requalification was compulsory. <sighs> it is. All serving officers shall prove their competence in the safe and accurate handling of firearms to the satisfaction of the district firearms officer. 
that boss puts in his own scores, the DFO. So what's the problem? Well, DFO runs a supervised shoot. Arsons and Davids. You now we usually have a few bets, make it a little interesting. And he doesn't want to play gunfight at the OK Laundrette with you, cowboys. Well, good on it. Usual? Um, he, Come might, on, make this he might need something stronger to hose him down. Don, you said you're going to take it easy tonight. Right. Um, excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Donatis? You probably don't remember me, Don, but, um... Oh, the policeman, Don. Right, you're that friendly young cop. Actually, I used to play thirds for the Saints. My Saints. Sit down, sit down. What name did you say? Uh, Wayne Patterson. This is my wife, Roz. Hi, pleased to meet you. I'm Tracy. Don sometimes forgets. Anyway, I'm now coaching the Mount Thomas under-12s, and I was... Oh, sorry, mate. I was wondering if you're going to be in town for a while. You just know the time and place, son. Coaching clinic would be a top way of meeting people, Trace. Uh, Mum's expecting us back, Don. She can wait. We might be moving back into the area next year. It's probably the final season. The spirit's willing, but the knees are knackered. Saints won't be the same without Big Don. They won't be the same without the Saints. We really should get going, Don. So should we, Wayne. Mate, I spent my whole life on the field of physios, Dad. Now I want some time with the kids. The kids are back at uh, Mum's, Don. We're going to give coaching a go. Can't be too hard. <laughs> Judging by some of the idiots I've had. <laughs> now I know you're an ex-saint. Can I get you a beer? Don, the kids will be going ballistic. Do your mother good. Sit down, Wayne. Just the one, OK, girls? Girls, the man's the next saint. Guess who's giving a coaching clinic tomorrow morning? I don't know, mate. You've got your DP. No, I lined it up last night. Did you now? Morning, PJ. That stuff will give you the shakes, you know. Mind you, the way you shoot, it's not going to make much difference. Oh, the St David shooting team. Morning, fellas. So, you all set for Thursday? Yep. So, how much are we talking about this year? Well, I don't know. The usual? No, we thought we might double it. Give you a chance to get your money back. Yeah, we're like that. All heart, I can tell. The uh, little lady in it as well, is she? Well, we'll be gentle with you. Oh. Double the stakes, you said? I'm in. Are you sure about this, Maggie? Yeah, I'm sure, Nick. We feel real bad about taking your money. Well, at least nobody around here has shot himself in the foot recently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all set then. Four against four? See at the range. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Barnes is not going to be able to shoot this year. He's off crook. We'll just grab a sub from somewhere. Sub? Hey, hey, what are you talking about a sub? Mount Thomas Place. All right, Mrs Webster, what's your address? Right, stay calm and keep your distance, OK? We'll be straight over. That was your mate Don's mother-in-law. He's gone off the deep end. Listen, I think we've got a good shot at talking him out of there, OK? But we just got to go nice and softly. Don, it's Wayne Patterson, mate. You remember me? Now, listen, we can talk this out nice and calmly, OK? OK, mate? I said piss off! Wayne, I don't think he's going to come out. So we're going to have to go in... Don, I'm just going to open the door, OK? Hey, Don. This is Maggie. Why don't you put the pick down, mate? We just want to talk to you. Now, can we come in?
we need some backup. Well, the first thing to do is get Mrs. Webster right out of there quick smart. Easier said than done, boss. Just do it. Then wait quietly. I'll send PJ and Nick over to assist. How long has this been going on? Drinking and carrying on. Mrs. Her Webster, tonight. are you quiet down? Can you get I'm her inside? Shush, Mum. You're only going to get him started again. No, no. Oh, oh, come on. I want him out of there. You heard you. So, uh, what's the story? Oh, he's in the shed. All quiet for a while now. Well, fairly quiet. Uh, we were just about to take a look right. inside. Mom, Mrs. Mom, Webster, Mrs. Please. Oh, for God's sake, Mrs. Webster, will you go I, inside? I will not until I know he's gone. I'm not going. He's away. made a nice little window for us. You called for a backup for some guy taking a snooze in a shed. Why isn't he in the watch house? The man's a menace. Oh, warning will do the trick. He's just been under a lot of stress this year. You know, it's his final season, the hamstring's not coming good, all that. Plus him and the mother-in-law don't get along. You can't understand that. That's it. Blame the mother-in-law. It's his wife a nag too. Perhaps they don't get on because he gets drunk and smashes her furniture. Nah, only joking. Obviously the women drove him to it. So David's got a ring in, Jimmy Altabelli. Oh, Altabelli's a good shot. <sighs> Represented Victoria in the national titles. We are history. They up the stakes again this year, did they? <laughs> Wayne, what do you like with a gun? Uh, not as fast as Maggie. You don't have to be fast, just accurate. If it's anything to go by, he's hopeless at threading a needle. A shaky hand. Right, shooting practice tomorrow, 10 a.m. at the quarry. What's the problem? No problem. I've got a right to an opinion, you know. Even at the station. Yeah, I know that. And even about your mate, Big Don. Listen, why are you so sensitive? I'm not, am I? Well, you are a bit. Look, I know he's supposed to be some big hero or something, but he's got to take some responsibilities for his actions, doesn't he? Yes, but look, the guy just got drunk and... Oh, look, let's just forget about it, eh? Is he a protected species or something? Something like that. Listen, I'm sorry, I just don't understand. Nor do I. It's just, when you have a go at him, I feel like you're having a go at me. You're on your own. Hey. Looks like you're being followed. Trace reckon would be a good idea if I stayed here for a while. Can I buy around? We're right, thanks. Squash, thanks, Chris. Look, I'm really sorry about this morning. I blew a fuse, you know how it is. Yeah, forget about it, mate. Just don't do it again. I'm definitely on for the coaching clinic tomorrow if you still want me. To an early start. <laughs> when I was a junior, there was nothing better than a slide across the frost in the footy field first thing in the morning. I still feel that cold on my feet. I don't know how the time training was over. Excuse me, I've got to make a call. They don't understand, do they? Dad? Hi, it's me. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't call before. Oh, you know, it's busy, but quiet. Dad, you're never going to believe who's in town. The Enforcer. Big Don Donides. Room doesn't have to be anything special. Well, that's good. We're pretty light on special rooms. Tracy's mum's driving me spare. Nothing I do is good enough. Including marrying Tracy. Sometimes Trace agrees with her. Uh, I'll show you the room. Mr. Tenegis. I uh, was wondering. There you go, love. Ta. See you at Sparrows. Thanks. It's for Dad. Well, yeah, we knew that. <laughs> Luxury suite. Bed's a bit soft. I like it soft. 
The bathroom's just down the hall, but it's mixed, so don't forget to knock. Who else is staying here? Well, just myself and Maggie, Constable Doyle. I'd better behave myself then, hadn't I? Huh. I've got a coaching session with the local kids tomorrow morning. What are the chances of a big early breakfast? Oh, pretty good. So, you know Tracy from way back, eh? She a bit of a wild one, was she? It's a pretty wild town. She had a few boyfriends, did she? I wouldn't know. What about that bloke downstairs, Andy? I go for long? Look, it's after my time. Besides, Andy's pretty harmless. You know they kicked me out, Tracy and her mum. Yeah, none of my business. We've been having a bit of a rough patch. More than a patch. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe we could have a drink later. Oh, look, I'm pretty busy. Trace said you run this place on your own. How come you haven't got a regular bloke? That would be queuing up. <laughs> Good night, Don. Good night, Chris. Right, what about some tackling practice? Yes! I need a volunteer. Someone more my size. How about me? It'd be better if the coach watched, wouldn't it? Perhaps a call on one of the dads. How about you, Andy? Go, Dad! Reckon Dad can get past the enforcer, Damien? Yeah. Okay, Andy, try and get past me. I've been playing footy since I was six and haven't seen anyone run that slowly, mate. Have another go. You've all said to go to pool, haven't you? Yeah. Remember what happens when the white ball hits the colour ball really hard? Yeah. Okay, Andy, have another go. <laughs> Bang! The white ball stops dead and the colour ball flies off forever. So, are you right? Maybe we better stick to kicking and marking. Coming good. Hi. How'd it go? Yeah, not too bad, I think. Something a bit funny happened. How funny? Oh, not funny, ha ha, funny, strange. I don't know, sort of made me glad I never made the ones. You're right. Yeah, Andy Poulton's not. Oh, well, he is now, but he wasn't for a while there. Uh, hey, Alfay's talking riddles. Ah, oh, it was probably just an accident. Morning. Hey, Ross. Pidge. Ready to go? Go away, mate. It's my day off. Shooting practice, Wayne. 10 a.m., remember? Oh, can I at least have a cup of coffee? No. Bye. Yeah. Bye, darling. The boys from St. David's are not adverse to a bit of gamesmanship. So be prepared. I grew up with two brothers, remember? Hearing protection? Ready? 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 In your own time? Go on! Back weapons! Right. Right. Clear range. You know, I did my shoulder at footy training today. I hurt my hand a bit too, taking a mark. Right. I'm just a bit rusty, that's all. That is not rusty, that is dead. Oh, come on, PJ. He did get all his shots on the target. He might get his elephant stamp from the DFO, but it's no use to us. How much money is riding on this? Well, maybe we could pressure the boss to put himself back on the roster. It's probably worse than Wayne. Is that possible? Mag, he hasn't been to a reshoot in years. You've got 24 hours to turn yourself into a marksman, or you can take out a bank loan to pay off Purcell when we lose. That's crap. Never should have played for the seniors. Plays like a Sheila. Wayne, mate, up the mighty saints. Don, 
A beer for my copper, mate, Chrissy. Uh, no thanks, mate. I'm just passing through. What's up with you? Why don't you have a beer with your mate? Uh, if Roz comes in, can you just tell her I'm down the shooting range? Again? Righto. Trey says I've got a problem. She reckons I need to see a shrink. Anyone who goes to a shrink needs their head red. What are you gawking at? Take it easy, Don. I don't like being looked at. It's not every day up here they see a living legend, mate, okay? Trace. Are you okay? I missed you. Come on. Good night. Any chance of a nightcap? What do you think you're doing? Just a quick one. Back off, Don. Come on, Chrissy. Behave yourself. <sighs> you bastard. That's it, mate. That is it. You have had it. It was nothing, Trace. I want to go back to Mum's. I want to talk. There's nothing to talk about. Let me out! No! That's right. Smash something, mate. That's always your answer, isn't it? I said I want to talk! You can carry on like a two-year-old all you like. It won't work anymore. Great ad for a marriage, eh? Just open the door, Dom. <laughs> Police, open up. Don, open the door. I'm okay. You have got a big problem, mate. And it's getting worse the older you get. You haven't got the footy much longer. Who are you going to build then? I'll get better, I promise. Oh, yeah, I've heard that before. You need professional help. And until you get it, you're on your own. Don't take the kids, Trace. Please, don't. I don't want my daughters scared out of their wits every time you go off the deep end. Mum was right. You're like an animal. <laughs> Chris, call the station. Tracy, Don, open the door. Come on. Tracy, are you all right? Sorry, Trace. You get away from me. Don, Don, listen to me. Why are you doing this to me? Don, if you calm down, we can talk this through. Leave me alone. Stay there. He punched out a supporter last month. All the guy did was look at him. Club covered that up too. The club's always looked out for him. That's a lot of the problem. He's like a kid no one's ever said no to. He's Big Don. Six foot three of temper tantrum. And all his fans thinking he's got in footy boots. It wouldn't do much for anybody's sense of reality. He hasn't got a hamstring problem. The club sent him up here to cool off. Working well, don't you think? Cheers. I wasn't giving him the come on, you know, in case you thought that. <laughs> nah. He's just not used to being turned down. They really think they're God's gift, you know? Besides, you don't seem the football groupie type. There's no sign of him. Everything okay here? I think so. He'll be well stowed away by now. Just listen out for the humongous snoring. Good. I'm going to check around outside again. He's never hit me before. He's never hit the kids. 
He used to save it for the field. Just this year, it started spreading everywhere else. It's hard for him. All his life, he's been encouraged to be violent. Now, he's like a soldier with no war to fight. You don't have to put up with it. So, that's life with Big Don. Was. <laughs> Glamour all the way. All right, on you go. Come on. Two laps. It's a living. <laughs> Is he dead? Dead drunk. Here, mate, have some coffee. I never hit her before, mate, I swear. I love Tracy. Wait. What's he doing here? Nowhere else to go. What about the watch house? I'm going to work. Can I tell you something, mate? Tracy's right, I'm cracking up. I keep thinking about this every time my brain just explodes. Don, football's not everything. I've been playing 40 since I was six. Teacher picked me out because I was bigger. Next year, it's all over, just like that. What the hell am I going to do for the next 30 years? You've got Tracy and the kids. That's what the hell you're going to do for the next 30 years. If they'll still have you. You reckon they will? Still have me? There's only one way of finding out. You're right. I'm getting around there now. I've got to make things right. G'day, girlie. Senior Sergeant Wilkie, good morning. The old ball in, is he? Um, anything I can do for you? No, thanks. Hey, Ross. Page. Morning, Dave. Tom. You brusted yourself off the reshoot again this year. I'm disappointed. Oh, so am I, Dave. Well, prior engagement. Optometrist, by any chance? Pardon? He's going too, are they? I understand, Tom. Understand what, Dave? We don't want any nasty accidents down at the shooting range due to failing eyesight and slowing reflexes. The kind of things that afflict a man in these twilight years. Of course... Half as much riding on the match stakes-wise, so it doesn't really matter how you shoot. We'll take any stakes you care to name, Dave. Double. You're on. I'm rostering myself back on. A uh, boss that the team has set, then unset it. No, no, we've already doubled the stakes. Then we stand to lose a bit of dough, don't we? No, boss, listen to me. This is very serious. Are you saying I can't shoot as well, PJ? Have you seen Tracy? Not since last night, no. She's so not at her mother's, no one's there. Do you know where they've gone? No. Any you blokes seen Tracy and my kids? She's left me. Oh, take it easy. She's probably just gone down to the police station. Why would she be there, eh? I've been there already. Her bloody mother's taken her to Melbourne, that's why. Look, calm down. It's all right. Give me a beer. You think that's a good idea? It's a bloody good idea. Look, Don, I want you to leave, please. I don't want any trouble. Give me a bloody beer. OK, either you leave or I call the police. What are you gawking at? You, the old boy from with a big mouth. Hey? Had a big laugh this morning with the kids, didn't you? Hey? So where's Tracy? Hiding at the old boyfriend's place? Don, leave him. Andy, get out of here now. 
Where's my kids and Tracy? You know who they are. How would I know? Tell me what's so funny now, Big Mouth. Tell me what's so funny now. I'm sorry, mate, but uh, you're off the team again. No, I practiced all day yesterday. I was getting good. Well, maybe you can take my place. I'm uh, looking forward to this. Well, at least you're no longer an incident waiting to happen. Does this mean he can stop practicing quick draw on spiders? <laughs> Mount Thomas Police. Okay, Chris, we'll be right over. Hub, he's gone off again. What's the story, Chris? Still breathing, just. The ambulance is on its way. Yes, sir. Wildfowl identification courses are run in St. David's. No, I'm sorry. There's nothing local. Uh, yeah, perhaps you should. No, not at all. Bye. So you went to the pub to find Tracy. Then what happened? I saw him and I just lost it. You know, when something clicks and you just lose it. Did he do something? Say something? He just uh, walked into the pub. Then what happened? I hit him, he went down, I picked him up and hit him again. Once I started, I couldn't stop. I just had to keep hitting him. You know, that happens. No. No, I don't. You know what it's like, mate. The final minute, and it's your last chance to even the score. And there's only this one bloke between you and the goal. Well, it's, it's you or him, you know. My dad taught me to play the ball, not the man. You're being refused bail at this time, Mr Donitas, because it's believed you pose a danger to the safety and welfare of the community as well as to yourself. Is there someone you want to call? I don't know where she is. Is there anyone else? I'll call the club. They'll know what to do. Mate, 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 listen. Look, it, it just isn't on. Look, the guy hasn't fired a shot in years. Mate, the bet was made on the basis of the original team. Oh, oh, oh Purcell, hold on. All right, everybody knows everybody, uh, except for Jimmy. Sergeant Alabelli's kindly agreed to help us out this afternoon. Yeah, I've uh, heard a lot about you. Tell us, Tom. Heads. They can be a bit hard to pick up in this light. Heads. You want to lead off, Jimmy? Sure, Dave. First detail ready. In your own time, go on. All clear in holster. Six, Alto Belly. Five, Hashem. Second detail. Hmm, nice ass. Second detail ready. In your own time, go on. All clear in holster. Five, Doyle, four, Sullivan. Nothing personal. Mount Thomas Police. Yes, sister. Oh, that is good news. I'll let them know. Andy Poulton. Ruptured spleen, but they've operated and he's going to be okay. Well, it's something at least. I'm sorry, love, about Dom. Yeah. You know, I used to dream about being in the first. Then I did my knee, and I always wondered if I could have made the grade. After this, after seeing Don and what it's done to him, I don't think I would have liked it very much, if that's what it takes. Sirs? 
We'd like to speak to the senior man, son. Sergeant Croydon's not in at the moment, I'm sorry. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Yeah, I used to play for the club a few years ago. Only the thirds. Wayne Patterson? Yeah, now I remember Wayne Patterson. Right. Then perhaps you can understand our situation, Wayne. We just made a long drive up from Melbourne. We'd like to get this sorted out before we make the long drive back. Where is this sergeant of yours? Purcell 6, Schultz 6. Fourth detail. Looks like 16 apiece, Dave. Your mark's over there, Tom. Fourth detail ready. I'm supposed to wear these all the time, but uh, I don't really need them for reading. In your own time, go on. And stuff like this, Dave! Wilkie 5, Croydon 6. <laughs> He's been charged with a very serious assault. The bloke he hit will be all right. They believe so. Good. Look, I won't beat around the bush, Sergeant. I've been Don's coach for seven years. I know the bloke's got the shortest wick in the history of the game. Naturally, the club in no way condones this sort of behaviour. But let's face it, Don's also one of the greats. And there's a lot of pressure on a legend. Are you with me? So far. Now, look, you and I might know what our heroes really like, but the public don't, and they don't want to. Heroes don't beat bystanders senseless. Exactly. And if they do, the public still don't want to know about it. Believe me, Tom, they want their legends to stay legendary. Is that why you were here? Well, you said yourself the bloke will pull through. Now, if we can just come to some accommodation with him, as I'm sure we can, then that just leaves the legal side of things to tidy up. So... So, how about it? How about what? We're well, sure there's a way, Tom, of preserving a legend and keeping everybody sweet. And what way is that? Well, it's up to you. What do you say? I'd say... You've got Buckley's. Wayne, put Mr. Denitis in the cells. I've always sorted stuff out before. Always. I was always seeing them right. You know what they told me? I'm too much trouble. I'm being delisted, that's it. Too much trouble. They dumped me. Just like that. I had to get the play out this season. No more club, no Tracy, nothing. What am I going to do now? Pod. What's wrong with him? I thought you won. Oh, PJ managed to get a bet on against us. <gasps> oh, ye of little faith. I didn't think you'd come back. I haven't. I came to see if you were all right. You didn't bring the kids? No. No, they're fine. I'm probably going to be locked up. Club won't help me out. What are my chances when I get out? Not good. What can I do? Up to you. See a shrink? See someone. I can't help you. What if it doesn't work? Not my problem, Don. What if it does work, then will you come back? 
Whatever you do, don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. Because I might not be around. But you might. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Up the mighty saints. Starved as a dog. What's the problem, mate? Can I see your license, please? Oh, Mr. Donatis, isn't it? Don Donatis. Sorry about the wobblies back there. The twins were playing up in the back seat, and you know how it is. This is Tracy. Hi. So you're the law around here, right? Eh? Yeah. It won't happen again, I promise. Are uh, you staying in Mount Thomas? At the mother-in-law's. Listen, uh, what's the tucker like at the pub? Ah, it's pretty good. Yeah. So is that it? Um, yeah. Okay, uh, if you could keep the speed down a bit, Mr. Nenny's. Thanks. Well, Wayne, I told him. Well, that was Big Don. Wayne, I cannot believe you trod the same turf as the enforcer, mate. Who? A big Don Donatis. Yeah, same club, same ground, not the same team. I am impressed. I'm really impressed, pal. Do you read about his hamstring? No. He's probably up here to rest it up, I'd say. It's got to be his last season for sure. From the district firearms officer. What's all the excitement out there? Oh, big Bill Buffett's in town. Who? Some legend with a hamstring. Ah, big Don Donatis. That's the one. Yeah, he's married to a local girl. Almost made her a bit of a legend around here for a while. I thought she'd be back sooner than this. Tracy, welcome back. Hi. Good to see nothing's changed. No, well, um, we like it like that. Oh, Chris, this is my husband, Don. Nice little establishment you've got here, Chris. <laughs> nice, quiet atmosphere. Yes, well, there must be something about you, Don. They're not normally this well-behaved. <laughs> it's like being married to God. <laughs> on a good day, he walks on water, too. Yes, uh, well, what do you have? Bourbon and Coke for Trace and beer for me. A light. A light, in case you spies everywhere. <laughs> Tracy? I thought it was you. Uh, Don, this is Andy. Andy Poulton, Mr. Donetis. Pleased to meet you. What's your claim to fame, son? You're an old boyfriend of hers or something? Not really. I think we had one date in high school, didn't we? You couldn't hold your green ginger wine, so I lost respect straight away and walked home. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Anyway, I just come over to say hello and... Could I have your autograph? It's for my son. Sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> Damien. He plays for the local under-12s. There you go. Thanks. One more thing, son. I saw you looking at her. You come near Tracy again, I'll belt you clean the next week. Got it? Uh, what's that? You're still young down to play the ball, not the man, okay?
You two are back early. 